Okay, so up next we have uh, Mad K. This is a Duck Hunt player I have legitimately never watched before, but he's a very active participant in the actual Discord itself. So definitely excited to see him. It's going to be Duck Hunt versus Captain Falcon. Uh, probably going to be a lot more common of a matchup now because like, obviously it wasn't too popular at first just because people did not like the changes they made to him. But obviously after that last patch, he got buffed pretty significantly. So we'll probably see a lot more of this matchup uh, going for a lot more Falcons in general, not, not Duck Hunt fighting because Duck Hunt's not com He's not going to get any more common, even if they buff him like crazy. Um, so definitely interested to see what's going to happen. Um, Battlefield's not a bad stage to go to, but like obviously he can get some really cool... Uh, Falcon can get a lot of good extensions. Duck Hunt can get a lot of good extensions. So on one hand, neutralize, a lot better for Duck Hunt. Um, but on the other hand, it's like both punish games are really good. But the stage being bigger... I think does benefit uh, Duck Hunt more. Um, not only in terms of it's just harder for Falcon to approach, but like Duck Hunt gets to survive more. And because like Falcon's a vulnerable offstage, it, it's still just as easy to edge guard him. So if you're really good with that, it's like he's always going to die consistently a lot earlier than Duck Hunt does. So let's see. Let me see if I can turn up the volume. That's all it's going to do. Yeah, you don't want to be throwing out rogue clay pigeons because like Falcon can blow you up for that like crazy. Yeah, again, don't don't go for hail mary. Oh, this is bad. Um, again, as I've talked about a lot already, um, you want to make sure that you're controlling the ledge. You want to ledge trap him. Do not run away and give him free reign to come back. Yeah, so that that's the issue with like just spamming smash attacks on the ground because like his stomp is really good. So he can just do things like that very easily. So you need to focus on just like kind of dancing around Falcon and then making sure your can's manipulating where he's going and then like <coughs> and then like you're just like whiff punishing him a lot. Also, he doesn't have an answer for shield can. Because like his dash grab doesn't send him uh, long enough anymore. But as long as you ping the can, it's always gonna catch that too. Oh, uh, fun lore. Um, back air can, and if you hit them with, uh, hit them on the ledge while you're standing up there at like 90%, you can combo that into an up smash. That was an easy grab. Again, don't charge your smash attacks like that. And don't burn your jumps like this. Though, luckily, he wasn't ready for the gunman there. And that's the other reason why you got to be careful when you're throwing out your cans, because, like, throwing it out that high just leaves you vulnerable. Because, like, the can arc's going to go like this. So as long as they're in this area, they can just put, hit you and punish you for free. And, like, and then again, you could have dropped down back air him and he would have died. So, you, you know, remember, you can drop through platforms. I don't know why you guys don't do it. That was a huge waste right there. Like, if you didn't throw out that gunman when he did that roll, you could have down-angled F-tilt, he would have died. Even regular F-tilt would have killed him. Yeah, you can't punish that cap the Falcon kick after that. So just don't, don't chase it. Just set up. You're just not respecting anything. Like, you're just kind of, like... Like, right now, you're like a brick throwing yourself against, like, a giant steel pole... Like, you're probably going to shatter by doing that. So you got to, like, focus, like, on the weak points on, like, how to dismantle that pole in order to take it apart. Like, that's why you got to think of Duck Hunt. Hey, okay, there we go. Oh, that was a huge drop. You got to remember, when you land... If you're going to be spamming Clay Pigeon... You might as well be going for, like, your combos off of that. Like, you landed it perfectly and cleanly there. You could have gone for jump, fair, fair, or jump, fair, grab, throw, and then fair again. So then he would have been off stage, and you would have had, a, you would have had another ledge trap sequence. That was really weird, but that worked. <laughs> yeah, you were a little bit slow, but you could have extended that by one more. Again, like, yeah, stop going for that, but at least he caught him. So, no, no, never, never, ever in your life do this. 
Like, look at how easy it is for him to get back and, like, punt it and, like, get it punished. This is what you always need to be in roll distance. But at least he got him. At least he got him. Because, <laughs> like, the thing is, it's, like, if he went for, like, if he jumped there, he probably would have been able to get around it. Or actually, if he did just get up attack against the can, that probably would have been the best thing. Oh, you got so lucky there. <laughs> Okay, that was a really good sequence. Okay, you brought yourself back now. Yeah, so you can... Uh, the reason why, like, that Nair works really nicely is you can hit his hand and before it grabs you. So as long as you're above him with, like, a lingering hitbox, it's very easy to beat out his um, up B. Okay, yeah. No, Diddy's actually a very easy matchup. Um... You pretty much play it like you would uh, against any other projectile characters. Like, it, it relies a lot on gunmen. Oh. Oh, you're dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you could have definitely you could have definitely won that one. You just you kind of janked yourself out there. As long as he has an online set. Um, but yeah, no, overall, you at least have, like, some semblance of an idea of what you want to do with, like, your can to control your opponent. Your gunman placement isn't the worst. It's just, like, you have a lot of really, 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 really bad F smashes. Um, and then also, like, your execution on the up air ladders needs to be a little bit better. Um, you just need to, you just need to focus more on, like, the fast fall timings. You also don't know what to do, like, after you land Clay Pigeon, so it's bad enough spamming it. But, like, not knowing what to do after it, um, actually, wait, no. Were you spamming? No, you weren't spamming Clay Pigeon that much. It's just uh, everyone else was. Uh, but, like, if you're going to throw a Clay Pigeon, you really need to know what your conversion is afterwards. Um, so just make sure you kind of have that all brushed up. Um, you were pretty... Once you once you got caught by uh, the Falcon Dive, you weren't getting hit by again, so you are really good at keeping tabs on that. Um, and then, uh, you know, you didn't really focus on edge guarding him at all, but however, you did a good enough job live trap uh, ledge trapping him that like I'm not as worried about that. Uh, but like, just keep in mind, you you giving up like the entirety of that ledge is like very scary because like, you know, if you didn't get like that roll there, he could have gotten around that very easily. Um, so by you being there in position just allows you to cover a lot more and you still would have been able to get that up smash too. So just make sure you're, you're always on task with covering those options with your positioning. And yeah, no, that'll be it for that.